Hey everyone, it's Brandon Brodsky from Reach Home Loans, and I wanna talk about some important changes that are going into effect in May of this year and how they're gonna impact your buyers and most importantly, the financing for those buyers. So it was announced that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are implementing changes to the price of their interest rates as of May 1st of this year. With most lenders, this is gonna to apply to any interest rate locks after April 1st of this year. So what's gonna happen is they're actually gonna increase their LLPAs, their loan level price adjustments. These are the adjustments that are behind the scenes with all lenders that determine the cost of an interest rate and therefore the interest rate itself. These are adjustments for things such as the credit score, the down payment, the property type, occupancy type. There's always loan level price adjusters. It's just that these are actually going to be changing and new ones will be implemented for buyers. Now, some of the most important that I'm gonna show you deal with credit score. On conventional conforming loans, right? So anything that meets your Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac requirements for loan size, the highest credit tier up until right now is 740 or above. However, as of May 1st, the new highest credit tier is 780 or above. So now your buyers who have credit scores in the 740 to 759 range or the 760 to 779 range are no longer in the top tier. And because of that, their cost of their interest rate is going to increase. As a matter of fact, the group of individuals who are affected most by this change to the credit score LLPAs or loan level price adjusters are gonna be individuals in the 680 to 759 credit score range who are putting down anywhere from five to 20%. That's who's actually gonna be impacted the most. Some of the changes are gonna help individuals with lower credit scores who are putting higher down payments, but those who are impacted negatively the most are those I just mentioned. Now, another important loan level price adjuster that's going into effect, or actually just went into effect this week, we're in the second week of February, 2023, is an adjustment for having a DTI, debt to income ratio, over 40% and a loan to value over 60%. So the combination of those two things is now gonna have a loan level price adjuster equal to 0.375% of the loan amount. So someone can actually pay that as part of their closing costs. So 0.375 is 0.375 of a point or three eighths of one discount point. They can pay it as cost, or it can be built into the interest rate, which is typically gonna result in an interest rate that's 0.125 to 0.25% higher than what they would have received prior to this adjustment going into place. And you may think to yourself, well, how many buyers have a debt ratio over 40%, you'd be surprised to know that most buyers who are getting conforming financing have a debt ratio over 40%. I mean, technically, we can go to a 50% debt to income ratio. So as you can imagine, a lot of people fall into this pool. So this is very important to keep in mind. These changes will affect most buyers as of May of this year. And like I said, it applies to locks with most lenders after April 1st of this year. So definitely keep this in mind when you're talking to buyers. Now, here's some good news, and I've done other videos on this. If someone is a first time home buyer and their income is within 100% of the area median income where they're purchasing, they actually have no loan level price adjusters on their conforming conventional mortgages, which means that none of this applies to your first time home buyers who fall within that pool. This is something we check with all buyers so don't worry about you having to do any extra research on whether or not someone qualifies for that. We'll do it all for you. And as usual, if you need any help with your buyers, please feel free to reach out to myself personally or our team here at Reach Home Loans.